Hello World 365 lovers or 365 whatever you want to call it. I'm back again with another awesome video and in today's video I want to discuss this add a place option. I saw it and I was like huh, let's see what it does and let's see how we could like work around whatever it is that people may not understand about it. So firstly, what is the place that they're referring to? The place that they're referring to is actually your external drive, the cloud, whatever you want to call it. If you have a Gmail account, this would be represented by your Google Drive. If you have iPhone, you know, you have iCloud. And for, what would you call it, uh, Microsoft, they have the OneDrive. Now, in the past, I think this was called the SkyDrive or something like that. I don't remember right now. But right now, these drives are called either your OneDrive or your OneDrive for business. Now, I only use my OneDrive. And if I want to add a place, all I do is like click add a place. So let's go back to the main area for Microsoft Word. So we go to File. Click File, and we click Open, and we click Add a Place. Then we click the OneDrive, if that's the one that you're using. And of course, you're going to sign in. Now, before I sign in, I just want to show you something else. So above here, where it says Personal, it's the same thing. So if you click that, you'll see that I have already added my OneDrive. Now, if I were to sign out of this, it would ask me to sign in. I'm not going to do that because that's not this type of video. And I'll leave uh, well, a link or whatever in the cards section so you could click on that video. That shows you how to sign into the OneDrive. Now, I was researching this at a place section to see what exactly is a place that they're referring to. And as I said, this place that they're referring to is the OneDrive or the OneDrive for Business. But then I saw in a YouTube video under the comments section that persons were complaining that no longer can they add a place like a folder that's already on the PC to your other place. So the conclusion was you could always come to your browse, not browse, not me, sorry. I think it's this PC, yeah. So you could always come to this PC and you could find your folders that are under the My Documents folder, which makes sense to me. I don't know what you think about that. If you were old school and you would have had your other place folders in the other place section or your folders in the other place section that's on your PC under the Documents folder. So what I also observed is that this PC, right? These exact identical folders are the exact identical folders that you would have created in your documents folder. So it's the same thing. So for those who are struggling with the add a place feature and you can't get to add the folder that's already in your documents folder under the other place, that's because it's under this PC. So let's go to add a place. I'm going to add a OneDrive. Now I'm going to sign in. I'm going to click next. And I didn't have to put in my password because I was already signed in. But let's go back to add a place. It's up here. Like, it's kind of silly to me that it's here and here when they could have just put everything in one tab. And I know that they're always strategic as to why they do certain things that may look redundant. If anyone has the answer for that as to why they have it here and here, which kind of seems redundant to me, I could be wrong. I am always open to learning new things. Comment down below and let me know. But uh, this is just my video on how I would explain the add a place feature and why it is that you cannot add your documents folder under the add a place um, in present day. 
uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. Don't um, forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.